welcome at uh, the Day of the Crypto TV. And I'm here sitting here with the two people who organized uh, the conference together with me. We were an, a joint uh, event. A joint effort. Yeah, Absolutely. we're a joint effort. Rulo, uh, Rulo, uh, Rulof and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always called you the wrong. Uh, I always called you the wrong. And Alex, hey, um, you had an amazing journey. I mean, you went from San Francisco to London to uh, to Amsterdam, and you're going further. I mean, how was it to go with four, with 35 of these ICOs to go on a tour around the world? I mean, uh, that must have been well, fantastic. It is. It is not only. Uh, to, to see what kind of products they, they have and what kind of icos they have and are, but you always, uh, uh, well, you meet people and you, you travel with them and you sleep sometimes in the same hotel and go to the same bar sometimes. So you, you yeah. get you can you you, you, form, feel, you form a team. You feel yeah. how uh, amazingly hot that ICO market is, huh? And look, you 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 organize. You were the the guy behind the scenes. You organized everything, the tickets, the website, the or the the, the, the marketing, etc. Um, what's it different to organize an event in San Francisco, London, and Amsterdam? What are the differences? Oh, there are differences, uh, especially because we have. Uh, we'll never do an event in a city where we don't have a local partner. Um, yeah, so the partner is different the part everywhere. Partner is different. Yeah. Uh, San Francisco was a, a great event. Uh, was not so crowded as here. Uh, absolutely not. No. But, uh, but really good but, investors. But, but, yeah, there were really good investors there. But a uh, total uh, different look and feel. Uh, there you, uh, well, you, 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 I cannot fly every week to San Francisco to, to see things. Yeah, you have I a think nine it's a great, very nice delegated model. Uh, yeah. Because you work for Beacon, right? Absolutely. And, and yeah. Beacon is an organization. What, what does Beacon do? Well, Beacon stands for the Blockchain Ecosystem Network. And uh, we're a global network to show the world what kind of uh, blockchain solutions there are. Uh, and crypto is one of them, and uh, there we are for, for the crypto things. We have our label, the crypto economy, uh, and within the crypto economy, we do our ICO events and our world tour. Yeah, uh, the Beacon. world tour ICO events. Yeah, Absolutely. that sounds so yeah. fantastic. Do your world world tour. Yeah, and sounds good. Huh? Yeah, and, and Alex, also, you basically were the the master of ceremony, the in, every, introducing everybody. I mean, what is your involvement with Beacon? So, you know, I'm a special advisor, you know, co-chairman of the advisory board with Beacon. And, uh, you know, we've been, uh, it's, it's like a big group of friends that we, we founded Beacon what, almost two years ago. And so we really find all the ICOs, we, f we find the people to present, and that's what we do. Yeah. Right? So, uh, and uh, one of the other guys of uh, Beacon is Niels, who is always on every jury, yes. and he knows everybody. So He's it's the big really, guy you were missing. there yeah. on the right time in the right place. You started two years ago, ICO was immediately on your uh, on your uh, radar screen, and you started to organize events, right? Well, it wasn't right ICOs from the, uh, that, that we started with. It was the blockchain solutions that are used in industries. Ah, uh, okay. Know, and I, the first, no investment, no ICOs? No, not not really. That started, you know, we did the first big ICO event with Beacon. Uh, you were there in London, right? That July, was, July 7th. Oh, yeah. July 7th. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. I met a lot of people there and Dutch people, nice Dutch, Dutch people. Michael Earhart, who has basically been presenting here, and also Sibrand, yeah. who did the mining presentation. And we all met each other in London. It's going so nice to go abroad. To a good, nice events because you meet great, nice guys uh, yeah. from Holland. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so I met them at the bar. Yeah, yeah. and then we went to Barcelona. Yeah, that was a very big event, almost fourteen thousand people. You yeah. Know? So, uh, and again, there we had two stages, if you recall. We had one was blockchain solutions with the old industry, and the other stage was the crypto economy with the ICOs. And those two didn't really match. You were, you were the one to observe that, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's just, uh, well, I mean, but you had, you had them separately, so yeah, uh, it was which okay. was great. Yeah, yeah, really which nice. was great. And you saw there 40 ICOs. 40 ICOs. I made two movies, 20 ICOs in five minutes, and the other one in five minutes. It was just like mind boggling. Mind boggling, yeah. It's the, it, the ICO is the emancipation of the uh, Eastern Europeans, right? Russian. The Bulgarians, the, I mean, uh, Ukrainian. I mean, it's really the ICOs have really been very successful. Yeah, with not mixing, I mean exactly that. You know, the old industry and the new industry, different cultures. You know, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But Eastern Europe is very, is very, very, is very much. They wear, they basically yeah. jumped on the wagon. Yes. And they're now able to raise money from all over the world, which normally would not invest in Russia, would not invest in Ukraine. They would, and, and they're really successful with that, uh, with that particular vehicle. Yeah. 
We have Russians, we have uh, Swiss, we have Americans working oh, from, from your from, Dutch companies. From all over the world. Now. From all so over the world. Australia, yeah. Israel, yeah. Yeah. To, to, to Eastern uh, Europe, Chinese, and Russia. Yeah, you but, name uh, it. but also from, uh, from the Netherlands, uh, they're, yeah. tr they're good ICOs. And they travel in, in Spain, for example. You, you see them yeah. popping out. So there you part. always have, when you do these presentations, you always have some people can talk like beautiful, you beautiful. know, everything is flowing water, and other ones have good ideas. Yeah. Do you have any idea how, if, 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 if um, investors can look through that, to have a Russian explain a good idea? You know, there was one guy with a universal address system, he, and it was a really good idea. And there was really one guy who broke down. You know, he uh, he didn't he lost it. He left the stage without pitching. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't <laughs> see that. We also well, had somebody had today yeah. who basically says, "I don't want any questions. If you want to know anything, go to my book. Bye." Yeah. And he was he had two minutes left. Yeah. You know, he's oh. like, "Yeah, it was really." But he had a very the way he said it, it was very authoritarian, but you go like, this guy really knows something. But you yeah. see with Turek, we focus on existing companies that have been around. What is Turek? So Turek is the other company. With Turek, we develop ICOs, we de deliver ICO services, we help with strategic advisory, okay. we do investments, So you help marketing. ICOs to become yes. successful. But we, is that an advisory role or are well, you investing? Well, no, because or? we invest and we build those ICOs, right? And we are not interested in companies that haven't been around. So companies need to have had a proven business model, need to have revenue. You know, we have one company who is listed on the stock exchange, you know, and they are still doing an ICO in the restaurant business, mind you, you know. Yeah. Uh, we I, have a company who is in yeah. the music industry. And then he told me there is no big chain of food companies, you know, they're all American. And, and, and then he's wanting to do, uh, he's, he wants to use that coin to have the managers be more motivated and the customers, the customers more involved and... That's a really interesting way to build an ICO. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so okay, that was a really interesting one. Okay, so wonderful. What do you think of the event here in Amsterdam compared to the other ones? Well, what you saw here in Amsterdam the, 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 was amazing. The entire, uh, for my feeling, the entire country was talking about it. And the major difference between the events in London and San Francisco and here is that this was for everybody. It was not only for investors. Where, uh, each day, I think, over a thousand attendees uh, trying to get in and get in. And, and I saw the tickets coming in every day and every day and every night and every night, on and on and on. And that, that, that I didn't see in the other, uh, other countries. Yeah, we had 10,000 people watching the streams yeah. Yeah, we didn't uh, have, yesterday. Yeah, that's right. We didn't yeah. have streams in London. No. Okay, so yeah. we, did we contribute anything to the, uh, to the beacon idea of a successful Absolutely. event? Yeah, yeah. 100%, so yes. In London, we were part of the blockchain week, so we had over 700 people in two weeks, but they were very scattered. Whereas in San Francisco, it's very early stages. It was like we were in basement, it was well, 500 people in two days. A very different audience, but we had Chinese state television there, right? yeah, which yeah, is yeah. great. You know, yeah, and yeah. I saw ABC. ABC, yeah. ABC did a movie. ABC yeah, did and in London we had News BTC making yeah, all yeah. the so interviews. Yeah. So they did, were okay. all very, very different. Prices. So now, next step is which countries, are, which cities are you going to? Oh, a lot. Uh, next on the agenda, I think Denver, then Austin, uh, Singapore, Sydney, Mumbai, New York. Uh, then I need a break. And that's 2018. <laughs> no, actually, Everything in 2018. Oh, it's all before uh, October because in October we will have again our uh, uh, blockchain solutions forum in Barcelona, and there we com combine it all. Everybody we know, know from all the world will we'll, we'll, we'll we'll come, come to you're Barcelona. You're forgetting the ICO roundtables that we're doing in Europe. Okay. You know, you need, okay. You know, uh, no, but I mean, I think it's more interesting than uh, Bombay yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and I got to do all Sydney that. Sydney, you know? and uh, that is really... <laughs> yeah, but, but, but my, my so goal... You take all this group of people, they so, go, go all over the world. And you're coming along, right? Okay. Yeah, I love <laughs> to go because do you this. Have this. I love to go to crazy, no, but crazy world. You know, I have to tell you one thing, you know, because if you do all these pitches, you, you have to give people time. And some of them are really interesting, and you just lose track of time. Yep. All of a sudden, it's like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, which isn't fair to the guys in the end. No. So your tool, Quiver, you know, Yeah, the way minutes, that people can ask questions yeah. and immediately Perfect. have that, Perfect. and we need good time. Yeah. Okay, guys, it was great organizing. It was totally stressful. We didn't have enough next time. time. And talk about this next time. Oh, the, the, blockchain, yeah. the blockchain book. How do you survive the... Uh, how do you survive how do the uh, crypto economy. Very good. From uh, Mr. Huizinga. Yes. Okay. So it's we promote going to his be book there also. in English. Okay. okay. Vincent, so, thank, thank you. you for this great event. Thank you, okay. Vincent. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Leuk. Androp.